Hey, welcome back for a devotional time today. We're in 1 Samuel 26, today verses 13 to 20. Let's read. Now David went over to the other side and stood on the top of the hill afar off, a great distance from being between them. And David called out to the people and to Abner, the son of Ner, saying, Do you not answer, Abner? Then Abner answered and said, Who are you calling out to the king? So David said to Abner, Are you not a man? And who is like you in Israel? Why then have you not guarded your lord the king? For one of the people came in to destroy your lord the king. This thing that you have done is not good. As the Lord lives, you deserve to die because you have not guarded your master, the Lord's anointed. And now see where the king's spear is and the jug of water that was by his head. Then Saul knew David's voice and said, Is that your voice, my son David? David said, It is my voice, my lord, O king. And he said, Why does my lord thus pursue his servant? For what have I done, or what evil is in my hand? Now therefore, please, let my lord the king hear the words of his servant. If the lord has stirred you up against me, let him accept an offering. But if it is the children of men, may they be cursed before the lord. For they have driven me out this day from sharing in the inheritance of the lord, saying, Go serve other gods. So now, do not let my blood fall to the earth before the face of the lord. For the king of Israel has come out to seek a flea as when one hunts a partridge in the mountains. So David again, uh, similar to before, right? Why are you chasing me? If it's if God has sorted this out toward us, why then let's, let's come into reconciliation with God. But if it's a human source, what does he say? Let that person be cursed, because that person is destroying peace instead of building peace. And so David seeks again for peace with Saul. How many times is this? I... I, I confess I don't I don't have the count I have lost count but here we go again and uh, there we have Saul Saul and David and again Saul responds to David is that is that David my son and Saul is is all uh, friendly here suddenly come to kill the guy now he's friendly all over here we have similar case David spares Saul, and now he again appeals to Saul, yet again, yet again, how many times? But anyway, he does it again and says, please leave me alone. You, isn't it bad enough I've been driven out and kind of placed in exile by you for no cause? Can you just sort of leave me alone? That's David's appeal. We'll see what the response of Saul is tomorrow morning. Let's pray together. Your Father in heaven, we see that you intervene to deliver your people. We see here that David is refusing to take the bait. You know, he's, he's, he's being tested. We're always tested at different times. And here's another case where David has opportunity to kill his enemy and stop the injustice, but he doesn't do it. Instead, he trusts in you. And there's a lesson for us, Lord, a lesson for me. May we, Lord, trust in you. You are the one who avenges wrongs. You are the one who will set things right. Help us to know what our part is and limit ourselves to doing our part and help us to be seeking for peace. And so this, Lord, is a request. We ask for this in Jesus' name. Amen. So friends, God is on his throne as usual, and he is for his people. The question is, are we his people? And if we follow his word and we let God transform our hearts, give us a heart of mercy, we'll be his people. May God give you today his heart of mercy to somebody who's wronged you. Now you have mercy toward that person and kindness. God be with you today.